so again uh, the essentials there are three four essential uh, law subjects that we are clearly looking at that that the the candidate should be uh, uh, well versed both with those those subjects uh, obviously uh, one is uh, contract so any anything you do in 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 a corporate law firm contract is extremely important so contract uh, we are looking at uh, the constitution which is extremely important again from uh, the practice area that we are in because a lot of the work that we do uh, requires a very very good understanding of 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 uh, the constitution of India. For example, if I am uh, going to set up an airport, uh, who has the authority in India to set up an airport? So those are the things which uh, the answers you only get from the constitution. Uh, so so definitely constitution, companies act extremely important because a lot of it is to do with setting up of companies and 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 uh, shareholders and 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 uh, stuff like that. Uh, and and also transfer of property because we do a lot of work uh, which relates to uh, creation of mortgage which relates to uh, uh, leasing which relates to sale and and these are all dealt with under the comp uh, the the transfer of property act so i think these are the broad uh, uh, core subjects which i'm looking at and then obviously if you have uh, understanding of banking and finance if you have understanding of uh, projects and PPP that is that is uh, always an advantage. So uh, a fresher look at the end of the day we are not expecting them to know drafting uh, but uh, it is a competitive world today and and uh, with the kind of uh, the law graduates that we are seeing with the kind of CVs that we get uh, to distinguish yourself from the next candidate, it is always good to have some drafting knowledge, and and uh, so so that 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 is an added. So I am a firm believer, uh, uh, and 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 that is what as a student also I I strongly felt uh, was law is a vast subject. So what the candidate knows, I might not know and what I know, the candidate might not know. So it's very unfair to basically ask, start asking uh, questions from uh, basically, uh, uh, I mean, just just uh, picking up questions from uh, uh, maybe some some judgment or, or uh, even even your textbooks. Uh, what I generally like to do is look at the CV and see what internships they have done and then uh, pick up topics from the internships that they have done uh, to then uh, try and see how much of the work that they have done they, they understood and how much of that, of that they remember. I also look at uh, candidates who are uh, uh, have, have done mooting because that, that does uh, give me uh, some confidence as to the fact that they have uh, gone out and done something different from uh, just purely studying studying law, uh, sports, extracurricular activities, definitely those are the things because at the end of the day a law firm practices a lot of uh, about about team building and team play and uh, if you've if you've really uh, worked worked uh, as a in a in a uh, as a, in a team sport or or done stuff like that it it does give me a lot of confidence because it also shows that you have uh, the discipline which is required because a lot of what we do is ultimately as I told you just sit down read and 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 just uh, you, you need to be diligent so there's a lot of discipline in in, in what we do and um, it at the end of the day as I told you again it nothing that we do is rocket science you just have to sit and read you will get the answer and half of the people don't do that and that that is where uh, we we want our our uh, uh, lawyers to start inculcating those habits. See, one one big thing uh, which is a no-no and and even at the short shortlisting stage is having uh, uh, typos on your CV 
or not having formatted your CV properly. Uh, because look, at the end of the day, again, as I say, a lot of the work that we do is our written material, which goes out. And these small things do uh, uh, show the character of a person in terms of, I mean, nothing, and it's a principle in most law firms, nothing can go out of your desk which has typos or which is not formatted properly and those are the smallest things which which uh, i would expect the candidate to have an eye eye for and i think a uh, lot of uh, candidates uh, are are not really looking at those so simple things and and which is which is uh, which is a shame yeah so we recently again uh, uh, recently I gave a, a, a candidate a PPO uh, and and what we are looking at is the candidate needs to uh, I mean there are small things of going that extra mile uh, so if you're given a task really being interested in that task and 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 trying to uh, uh, um, be part of the team and, and, and trying to find uh, the answer to a probably a research question that you've been given or a memo that you've uh, uh, been asked to do. And a lot of the feedback we get actually from the, uh, the, the lawyers that they're working with in, in the team. So if, if uh, say for example, they've, they've been working with two or three, four lawyers and that is exactly what we also want that a candidate who comes in and does internship should try and work with multiple lawyers. So if, if multiple lawyers are actually putting in a good word, then we definitely uh, are much more confident in, in giving uh, PPOs to a client, uh, to, a, to, a, uh, to a junior lawyer uh, for, for the position of a junior lawyer to an intern. And uh, yeah, simple, same thing, be diligent, read and, and, and be, be, uh, be uh, hard work is, is uh, kind of a given, you have to do it, but you need to be uh, just blindly being, putting in hard work doesn't really, uh, uh, doesn't really, uh, at this day and age, you have to do something over and above that. See, uh, I think law firm life is extremely grueling, and 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 I think that is something which they need to uh, need to uh, understand very well. Uh, primarily because uh, once you join, and and even at 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 a senior level, a lot of it is driven by what your clients want at the end of the day. So uh, the, we we really don't have any control over that. I mean, uh, for example, whilst we were doing this uh, project, two other work, uh, works uh, matters which have come, which I have to do over the weekend and and give it and uh, look. So you need to be extremely flexible uh, in in um, in in uh, your your attitude towards work. And I have seen a lot of lawyers, junior lawyers, having got the opportunity to work in a firm. I mean, they, 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 they simply, I'm not available, I'm not carrying my laptop. Uh, those are the things which put you off. You, you need to be uh, invested in, and, and uh, look, at the end of the day, all that you do now, you will reap the benefit of it later on in your career. Uh, so I think that that is very important. Mm -hmm.